How to work with Chroma Key in Adobe Premiere Pro In this tutorial we will learn how to work with a green background and make the final picture as realistic as possible. First, let's create a sequence that we need for the original format. Right-click in the project window. New item. Sequence. One of the standard presets suits me. Aspect ratio 1920 by 1080.24 frames per second. Add our file shot against a green background to the timeline. We delete the audio track, we don't need it now. Right click on the file and select. Scale to frame size. To make the file size the same as the size of our sequence. Go to the effects window and select the ultra key. You can drag it to the file or double click on it. Open the effect controls tab and go to the added effect. Selecting an eyedropper for capturing color. And choose the green color closer to our object. As you can see, the green color has completely disappeared from the video. But if we turn on Alpha Chanel in the effect settings, we can see that our object is well separated from the background. There are places with a different shade around the edges that have not been removed. And at the top of the video is an artifact that was of a different color. Here we see a menu with expanded settings. But for the most part, these two sections are useful. By adjusting these values, we see how the white areas disappear from which we need to get rid of. In the settings column, we see the keying settings presets. Default. Relaxed. Aggressive. We will choose it as it suits us best. But the artifact that did not disappear from above and we will remove it in a different way. Select the mask from the opacity section. Outline the object to be removed. and click inverted. Thus, you can clean up difficult places where the ultra key tool does not do well. Turn off the alpha channel for further work. Select the background image and add the layer below to the timeline. Correct all sizes to match our composition. Great, we removed the green background and added another one. Next, we need to finalize the details so that the image looks as realistic as possible. The most difficult part is hair and small items. Here we see a very sharp transition line and green light that bounced off the background. In the ultra key settings, go to the matte cleanup column. And the choke and soften tools work with the edges of the image. Very small values do not give the desired effect, and larger values eat up the edges. Try to find a value in the middle range that suits you.
Great, the contours are in order, it remains to correct the green color on the hair. To do this, look for change the color in the effect window. Double click to apply. And go to the effect controls window. To make it convenient to watch, you can set the maximum preview settings. Select the green color we need to change. After that, we already choose the color with which we will replace. Great, we have successfully removed the green color from the background. Now let's work on the background. Looking for a fast blur effect. It will be useful for us to create a blur effect. When shooting, the camera focuses on the subject and slightly blurs the background. Now we'll slightly change the size and position of our object in the frame for more realism. Since our background and the person were shot under different conditions, their colors are very different. Go to the color tab. And by moving these buttons, we make the colors of our character as similar as possible to the colors of the background. Since our image is on two different layers, we can use graphics very simply and beautifully. For example, let's take a set of animations from the Easy Edit Studio. Live Stickers Set. There are dozens of animated animation templates that you can use to create awesome videos. There is also a set of sounds that can be substituted for animation. For example, let's take this animation and place it between the background and foreground layers. and we get the following result. Press enter to render and see the result in good quality. Great, 
Now let's combine three files into one sequence. Select and right click. Click Nest. Create an adjustment layer. Now with this layer you can apply color profiles to all layers at once. In the color tab, select the creative section. Choosing a beautiful look. This will give us a complete picture. Now we will add a slight movement so that our frame does not remain so static. Select the nest layer, and in the effects controls tab. Select the scale parameter. Click on the clock and set the first keyframe with a value of 100. And at the end of the video set the value to 110. Play it and see a smooth camera zoom.